Hello friends, this video on introduction to Euclid Geometry part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Okay, let's understand these in details once again. So Euclid definition. So as I told, Euclid summarized a lot of these statements and they call it, he call it definitions. Okay, so the book one, this book one has 23 definitions. 23 definition, you can say chapter 1 of this uh, book or book 1 of this element. Overall, uh, uh, there are 100 plus definitions in this complete book. Okay, I can uh, give some examples of few of them. For example, uh, define a point. You define a point as uh, that part of line which does not have any point. Let me see that point is that part of or point is that which does not have any part. Any part is zero dimension. That is the definition of point. You also define line. What is line? P as per him line is not having breadth, it's breathless, but it has length. So line is a breathless length. It does not have any breadth, but it has length. You also defined uh, that uh, for a point, you also defined that end points of the line are point. Right? Or end of a line. Are point you can say ends of line so if there is a line these two are points talk about line it has length but there is no width when you talk about line it say you say that line is three centimeter four centimeter but you never say that what is the width of the line even this is a line this is a line right so in both case we say this is a line we don't we ignore the width part if you want to define a straight line, straight line is a line which lies evenly. A straight line is a line which lies evenly with points on itself. Example, this is not a straight line. This is a curved line. This is a straight line. So we define straight line as well. Okay. This is a line which lies evenly with points. You also defined surface. See this is a surface. So we defined surface. So what is surface? Surface is something which has length and width. You see, it has a length, it has a width. You also define edge. You see, these are the edges. Right? And he, he's saying that these edges of the surface are line. This is the definition, right? So, edge of surface are line. So, he defined these. Euclid defined in his book. Also, something for example, definition he is saying that obtuse angle is greater than what is obtuse angle? So he defined obtuse angle. Obtuse angle. So obtuse angle is nothing but angle greater than right triangle. Right angle. Right angle is nothing but 90 degree. So any angle that is greater than right angle is obtuse angle. He defined acute angle. So what is acute angle? So acute angle is angle that is less than right angle. So all these are definitions by him. He defined it. What is diameter of a circle? So he defined that as well. 
diameter of circle. So diameter of circle is straight line drawn through circle and terminated in both direction by circumference of the circle. I'm not right. Straight line drawn through center uh, of the circle and is terminated uh, in both sides by circumference. So this is the diameter. Okay. So like this, he defined a lot of things. He defined what is odd number. Odd number is one which can't be divisible by two or which can't be divisible into two equal part. He defined even number. So let me write it. He defined odd number. He defined even number. Even number is something which is divisible into two equal part. He defined square number. Square number is something uh, which is equally multiplied, equal multiplied by equal x into x, x square. He defined solid. What is solid? He defined solid as something which has length, breadth and depth. He defined parallel lines. He defined parallel lines as lines which don't meet. Okay. He defined what is cube. Cube is nothing but a solid figure contained six equal square. He defined all this. Cube is nothing but solid with six equal square. So all these definitions were given by Euclid. What is point, line, straight line, surface, edge, obtuse angle, acute angle, diameter, odd number, even number, what is height, height of a figure. All these definitions were given by Euclid. The exhaustive list of 100 plus, plus definition, but I have covered only few of them. Just for your understanding, you should understand what is definition. What do you mean by definition? And if you see these definitions, there are some terms like uh, part, length, breadth. You see, all these uh, terms are used. For defining, for example, line is something which has length but no breadth. But what is length? What is breadth? You don't know. These terms are used without defining it. See if I see his definition, he has defined points, then from the points he told there is a line, then from the line he told there is a circle, there is a surface, surface will have edge, and then he told from the surface you can make a solid, right? The lines you can make angle, different kinds of angle. From the, uh, this point and this uh, line as a uh, uh, center, you can make circle. So he, he he defined all these and he created all these figures. The figures, but still terms like part, length, and breadth, he just use it without defining it. Example: If you see point, definition of point is point is that which has no part. So this part is not defined. Hey, if you see the part is undefined here. And why it is not defined, I'll tell you. See, if you want to define part, let's try to define the part. So part is, uh, let's define the part. Part is something that occupies area. Okay. So that is the definition of part. Part is something that occupies area. Now, if you see area is also not defined now. Again, let's be able to define area. So this is a chain now, right? To define one undefined, you have to again define something. Again, to define area, you have to define something else. Something which has length and breadth or maybe something which has fixed some, some definition you have to give. Again, the definition will have some undefined. So it is a chain. Okay. And this chain is endless. It's an endless chain. So these mathematicians agreed to leave some of these geometric terms undefined. Okay, But you do have intuitive feeling of what is these terms. For example, you know what is length, you know what is breadth, what is part. Right? So you, don't ha you have some intuitive feeling. Intuitive feeling for these terms. But they are actually not defined. For example, length, breadth, part. Okay. So these terms are actually used in the ge geometric concept by Euclid. So 
even if you see some uh, say that we represent point as a dot but dot also has some dimensions in dot if you see this dot has different dimension than dot but intuitively we say that okay point is a dot so okay so we assume that this dot doesn't have any dimension but actually if you magnify this dot it will have some dimension similar issue with uh, these terms length and breadth they are not defined as well okay and if you see these terms point length and breadth is actually used to define what point line line is something which has length and no breadth and plane plane is something which has length and breadth thus these three terms are also called undefined terms so there is a definition but they are called undefined The only thing is that we can represent them intuitively and we can explain them using physical models. Hope I am not confusing you guys a lot. So, in the whole Euclid chapter, he has defined some terms. Okay, he gave the definition of circle, square, rectangle, right angle, obtuse angle. But to define these terms, he has used some words like part, length, breadth. These terms are not defined. Intuitively, we know what does mean. So these three definition point, line, and plane use these terms part, length, and breadth, and they are not defined. Since these are not defined, we use we say that these are undefined terms. Just for concepts. So done with the definitions and the undefined. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.